But before we can get into the video, we must go back. We must go back a fair way to where this plugin originated from. You agree not to and not to provide guidance or instruction to any other individual or entity on how to reverse engineer, decompile or otherwise modify the software in whole or in part. So I would like to stress that I did not decompile the code, I did not change the value of the gravity modifier, and most importantly I did not recompile the code and use it in my own game and on the off chance that that was the case it was purely for educational purposes. So, after doing that, here I am in the stock game. Unfortunately for me, unfortunately for you, you have to glance at the awful textures, that is Kerbin. But uh, for the moment, we'll see if that works, so we'll just go to the cheat menu, that's the wrong one, there it is, hack gravity, and you'll see, here we are. Here we are at 0 0.07, but the bar goes even, even smaller, <laughs> and I've only tested this once. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. And whoop, whoopsie do. What the? What? What? <laughs> and off we go. <laughs> Alright, okay, so obviously this is going to pull us up and out of the atmosphere. <laughs> That's why I've taken a plane with me so that I can do this. Apparently, I'm still on the surface, but I think the wheels are a bit bugged. There's this two gravity that I mean, uh, I mean, um, I think there's two gravity modules for the wheels. I'm not actually too sure. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I have no... Oh, we have an orbital speed, but our surface speed isn't changing. So I'm going to have to reference it off the orbital speed. But... <laughs> oh, this is simple. Fly me to the moon. Welcome back to the launch site. We will hack gravity, and if we press reset, it will return to minus one. And off we go. And it does look like I need to go radial in, fire my engines. And the, the goal is basically just stay, stay on the ground. <laughs> we're not going to space today. Uh, we, we're just going to stay on the ground. And This is landing, but with extra steps. <laughs> I want to get into orbit around the sun as well. I want to see how powerful its gravity is actually pushing me out. How do I, how do I get rid of my... Uh, the, uh, hair? Like... Uh, why? Why, <laughs> why is this so close? If I don't want to go down, just... Cut the throttle. It's fine. Landing made easy. Oh, oh. What if I just smash into the ground, you know? You know what? That's what I'm going to try and do. Oh, I've just realised that I've run out of fuel, so this isn't going to be as cool. But, uh... <laughs> the explosions sure are. Oh. And there we go. Oh. Every debris is now orbital debris. <laughs> Off it goes. Well, the planets are on rails, so their orbits are already predetermined, but... Mine is just non-existent. It doesn't know what to do. It just is. It just exists. What if we? Uh, okay, okay. If we time, if we time warp, we go rapidly. I don't think time warping is a good idea. Now the Osprey is quite an interesting little plane. I feel like it's the most manoeuvrable plane out of the stock arsenal, which is why I've chosen it today. So if I just hack gravity, there we are. Instant liftoff. Can we stay close to the runway? In fact, this makes landing a whole lot easier. In fact, I'm staying at pretty much the same height just by just by flying downwards. But uh, the, the reason why a plane is a lot more interesting is, uh, well, a rocket just kind of goes up, doesn't it? But a plane, it can go up and down and all around. So uh, let's do a couple of tricks, shall we, whilst we're here. Doing loops has never been easier. Um, if you just want to not hit the ground, just cut the engines and off you go again, I suppose. In fact, let's try going under this bridge. I don't think this is going to work. I'm a horrible, horrible flyer. I'm not very good at planes in Kerbal Space Program. It appears like I can't actually muster up enough thrust to actually go downwards again. I, it looks like I need to have a fair amount of lift before I can do that. Flying under the bridge has been put on hold for the moment. <laughs> now I've come up with a fairly interesting game to play. Simply what we do is we turn off hacked gravity so that we fall in the regular direction. And uh, I am not allowed to use the engine, I'm not allowed to move the craft at all. And um, I need to gauge... All I need to do is gauge when to turn this back on so that I will just boop the ground and not actually crash into it and explode. Now for that I'm going to turn the cheats off and uh, I have to predict when to turn this on. And you know what, I'm going to go for it about now. I have no way of actually seeing the velocity indicator by the way. Oh, it's going to be close. That was, that was a lot closer than I thought. Wow, we got to a height of, oh god, about 240. 
Let's try it again. We're going to go back up. I'm going to see how close that I can get to the ground before I have to turn on this hacked gravity and slow myself down. I feel like this is a very interesting game. This is purely for educational purposes, by the way. Um, a good use of the meme legally, that's a joke. <laughs> right, here we go again. Hacked gravity is now off. We're accelerating towards the ground. I'm disabling the throttle. And uh, let's just see, can I predict when to turn it back on? Oh, we're getting, we're getting closer. I feel like at about a thousand meters. There we go. If I turn it on now. Five, four, three, two. Oh, I misjudged that one, didn't I? <laughs> and everything just floats upwards. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> No, <laughs> say no to debris. In fact, actually, that's going to create a lot of debris in space. To be honest, it's going to fly out completely. It's not going to go anywhere. It's just off it goes. Anyway, revert flight. Let's try something a little bit, a little bit better. Welcome back to the... <laughs> this is a lander I made for my uh, Beyond Home uh, career mode series. If you've not seen that, feel free to check it out. There'll be a card in the top right corner that you can click on right now. But I'm going to try and actually land on this moon over here. And we have escaped the atmosphere. And we are... <laughs> I want to see how fast we actually go when we escape the sphere of influence. Now I'm going to be here for a while. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'll disable the cheat and then I'll time warp until I exit its sphere of influence. I just have to be going fast enough. Right. About to hit the atmosphere. The atmosphere of this moon, by the way, is 10 kilometers. And all I am going to do is hit this button. And we're slowly, very slowly, actually, slowing down. Oh! Oh, we're going to hit a structure as well. <laughs> oh no. I. Yeah. I should have probably have a, a bigger value than just minus one, but this is incredible. <laughs> I'm going to turn the, the other cheats on, just in case I do manage to survive. But this is... Oh, well, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> this might hurt a little bit. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. It's speeding up, it is, it's actually going upwards. This is incredible. 